hi guys welcome back to my channel um today i want to share with you shows that you guys need to watch on netflix this summer like you'll thank me later so i want to start off with the first show the first show you need to watch is on my block it's about these four kids and their shenanigans how they live in this gang-ridden neighborhood in la i know it sounds serious but um they do talk about heavy topics like gang wars and death and drugs but they also put like a comedic twist to it um you guys will really like it i think i finished this in like two or three days it was super fast i think it's about like 13 episodes don't quote me on that but it's definitely binge worthy the next show that is super binge worthy is pose um on fx um you can find season one on netflix right now and so pose deals with the lgbt community um it's about these uh it follows these youth uh, from the 80s that struggled to be accepted by their families so um, they leave their homes or they get kicked out and um, they form their own they form their own houses um, basically like a group and you all live in the same house and you guys have a mother that um, founded the house and the mother basically takes care of them make sure they're going to school make sure they're okay make sure they're not dealing drugs or doing drugs the houses all compete in something called a ball it's basically a dance competition where all the houses battle it out and vogue it out um to see who wins prizes and they do win trophies they're really competitive and really catty and they take it super serious but it's such a good show and i'm sure you'll get into it they also deal with um the, they also deal with the AIDS and HIV epidemic. It's really sad, but um, this was the period of time when they really didn't know how to treat or take care of HIV and AIDS. So it's super sad and you get to see how these characters develop and how um, the stress of this epidemic takes on. And um, just like you get to see the birth of the queer community. So the next show I want to talk about, I'm sure you guys have heard of this show. It's been on for the last, what, like seven or eight years is Orange the New Black, which is basically a show where it's about females in jail and their shenanigans in jail. This show is super addictive. I'm going to warn you right now, it's super addictive and um, you get to see how they got into jail, what they had to do to get, get into jail and instead of judging them, um, you get to humanize them because you see uh, what made them do the things they did to get in jail and you get, you get to have a virtual bond with the characters and I'm so sad that um, the season is ending this month, this is the last season, um, it's coming out on July 26th yeah so i'm super sad but catch up on it now before the series premiere on the 26th it's definitely binge worthy next show i want to talk about is she's gotta have it um it's based on the movie from the 90s she's gotta have it yeah it's based on the movie she's gotta have it from the 90s it follows nola darling and basically this girl is kind of a hot mess but at the same time she's super cool and carefree and basically you get to see how she juggles all her relationships um whether it's guys or girls um the first season it covers her um juggling three guys at once and it's super funny and super artsy but you'll definitely enjoy it the next show i definitely recommend is umbrella academy it's about these students um, that were adopted by their dad and um, they were all born on the same day at the same time and they all have superpowers and if you're into like if you're into action and like comic book type of shows this is a good show to get into and um it's super binge worthy and you just get to see how everything develops and how these kids deal with um kind of like abandonment issues because their adoptive dad is kind of a jerk season one had the best cliffhanger i can't wait for season two the next show i want to talk about is black mirror you guys have to see black mirror it's basically a show about technology um, and the dangers of technology when it's taken to the extreme. You don't have to watch it in any kind of order because all the sh all the episodes are different storylines so you can start anywhere and personally I have favorites but I'm sure if you watch it you'll have different favorites so I'll just recommend watching them all and letting me know what you think because the show is definitely binge worthy and the, the newest season just came out um, earlier this month 
Um, you should check it out. The next show I want to talk about is American Horror Story. You guys, I love American Horror Story. You guys, I love American Horror Story and the seasons I'll highly, highly recommend are Coven, Hotel, and Apocalypse. They all go together. Um, this is a show too that you can watch, you can start from any season, but for Coven, um, for Coven Hotel and Apocalypse, they all interlap. So you can you can start anywhere. You can start from the newest one, Apocalypse, but I highly recommend starting from the beginning so everything makes sense. Or you can watch it at a time. You can watch it at the same time. That way everything clicks. Cause you know, when after you finish one season you forget and you have to refresh or do um like a a could a quick wiki search, but I'll highly highly recommend those three seasons. And yeah, and it's definitely not that scary at all. It's definitely not scary at all. Don't be scared, just try it, trust me. The next show I'd highly recommend is Russian Doll. Basically, Russian Doll has the same concept as Groundhog's Day, but in a series. But it involves two people who keep waking up to the same day over and over again. And basically, they figure out that they have to help each other so they can get out of this loop. Even though they keep reliving the same day over and over again, um, everything around them is dying anyways so they have to figure out how to stop it because everything else is dying around them like the fruit and the flowers but um, there's a lesson that they have to help each other with so they can get out of this crazy loophole I'd highly recommend this season the last show on Netflix that I'd highly recommend is a foreign show I'm really into foreign shows on Netflix right now especially the Portuguese ones uh, they're so good and the Spanish ones uh, they're so good Netflix is doing such a great job but the last one I highly recommend is A Beautiful Place and it's a Portuguese show um, based in the 50s, I think late 50s, early 60s and it follows this uh, wealthy wife and basically she finds out that her husband was cheating on her this whole time and he basically ran away with his mistress and also took all her money and her dad's money and he was supposed to open up a restaurant, he never did it, he just Bag the money and just escaped with the mistress and basically she instead of feeling sorry for herself she decides to go on her own and make her own money by opening up a club and she gets to meet these really cool friends she just gains her independence yes i'd highly highly recommend a beautiful place i was gonna make a separate video for amazon shows but amazon prime shows but i realized that i don't have as many suggestions as i thought because a lot of these shows overlap but um, from Amazon, I'd highly recommend Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Um, two seasons are up right now. And it's basically about this housewife and how she, in the beginning, she was just mostly about her husband, like taking care of her husband, because this is based in the 50s. So she was mostly about um, taking care of her husband and her kids and just being the perfect wife. And her husband, um, had like had ambitions to be a comedian but he really didn't have the talent so she was the one writing his jokes and then um one day she found out that he was cheating on her and she just decided like you know what i'm funny i'm gonna get a divorce i can go on my way so you just get to see her journey as she um, finds herself as a comedian and being free and yeah it's such a good show i'll highly recommend it and it's very visually pleasing um it's amazing. I think it was nominated for an award for best costume. I can't remember, but it's definitely a good show to look out for on Amazon Prime and also poses on there. And um, they have season two, but it's only one episode that's available. But yeah, Pose is still there. Um, if you don't have Netflix, you can go see Pose, see all of season one and one episode of season two on there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're new here, welcome to the party. If you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. I love your presence. Um, and let me know if you guys start any of these shows um, or have watched any of these shows and um, or on the fence about watching these shows. Um, just comment down below and tell me what you think. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I'ma give you something make you wanna come back If you show me what you need Then I'll never go in my head